What's up, everybody? It's your buddy Nelly for no classic trailer reaction review, and today it was a tr it was a tricky one because I was trying to find two certain trailers from the Disney films that I think they no longer exist. My first one was Tower of Terror because since you guys like the you know the attraction, mostly the song that was played by Benny Goodman in the opening of the film. I was like, eh, maybe we should do a trailer action of that one. And the two trailers I found were the same, and it turns out they were fake. Yeah. A lot of people, they thought there was a trailer, but it's not. As a graphic designer, I can tell this ain't the real trailer, because the actual will be a maybe older, but no. Damn. I was trying to find it throughout the internet. If they could find the trailer, it turns out they couldn't find it. I don't think there is a trailer for Tower of Terror. That went for the next one. Dr. Sign, aka The Scarecrow, which was an old film by Walt, Paul Walt Disney's Magical World of Color. It was based on a famous, let's just say, famous criminal who, well, who was against the, Br the British men and men and helping the poor. Same thing. The only known trailer is an old VHS one that is along with Treasure Island. Well, it's like, what's the next one? Dolls. It's like, oh, okay, Dolls. Which is this one here. Dolls, which was actually a horror film that directed by Stuart Gordon, written by Ed Naha. And it was produced by Charles Band and Brian Usna through Band's former. Brand, band, bands, brand, Empire Pictures. And if you don't know who Charles, hold up. Wait, is it recording? Yeah. Yeah, I got new glasses. <laughs> As I was saying, this was Charles Band's former brand. Well, uh, the icon before he changed from Empire Pictures to Full Moon Pictures, which I think you all know what that is. And who Charles Band is, as a short resume, he's famous for for his more popular B horror films. One of them being Puppet Master, which first started in 1989, and still booming to this day. I think the last film that recently came out back in last year was Puppet Master Dr. Death, featuring the iconic pop puppet from the film Retro Puppet Master, which is featured during Toulon's early life when he found out about the secrets of, of life after the death of his friends from the Egyptian gods, where he met his wife. In Paris. But back to here. This film's quite good. And this is like. Before Puppet Master. It's like creepy as shit. But. Get some good effects. Let's see who was behind. The magic. Let's see. And. It had a budget of 3 point. No, wait. It had a budget of 2 million. And it grossed 3.5 million. With, with mixed reviews. Uh huh. Yeah, but yeah, it stars. Well, there's some who would never turn from acting. Previously, the three title characters we have Ian Patrick Williams, who plays David Bowers, the father, Carolyn Purdy Gordon as Rosemary Bauer, and Carrie Lorraine as Judy, ba as Judy Bauer. Strange. These three never had an act, they, well, actually four. Weird. But continuing, which, oh, <laughs> sorry. According to Gordon, he conceived the film as a horror fairy tale in the veins of Hansel and Gretel. Oh, I never knew about that. Okay. Unfortunately, there was a sequel plan, but it was cancelled. 
Gordon was at one point interested in directing a sequel for the film. Initial story was would have followed Judy and Ralph back to Boston, in which Ralph will marry Judy's mother and they will become a family. One day, Judy will receive a box sent from England that contained the toy maker. Toy, the toy makers gave her Hillary as dolls. The sequel never entered production. <laughs> what? Judy receive a box from England that contains the toy makers as dolls. What the fuck? How the fuck? I don't even know. I think the movie, I think how bad people turn to dolls is creepy. If I could Jekyll and Hyde one. But said you turn to a, a doll after you destroy the original one, you become that doll. <sighs> like what happens to the dad when he destroys Punch? He becomes Punch. But yeah, before we begin, did you subscribe? Did you hit the bell? If so, are you still a child at heart? If so, good. If not, you're fucked. Let's react to the trailer, shall we? In three, two, one. I hope this doesn't get copyrighted because it's a pain in the ass. Long good? Yeah, let's go. It looked like a safe haven from the raging storm. Sure. It's not kind of place. When your folks get it from Boris Karloff, their host <laughs> seemed like the essence of <clears throat> hospitality. Hey, here's yeah, notes you like. Wonderful. But appearances can be Whoa. very deceiving. You like toys? I'm a doll maker. Oh god. Wonderful toys. Oh yeah. These toys are here to kill you. Puppets, soldiers, ballerinas. Jesus. Nobody Lethal. wants a doll that's special anymore. That's one of a kind. Cocaine bear. <laughs> the weather brings out creativity. Helps me in my work. What kind of work is that? Witchcraft. The <laughs> fuck? Hey. Hey. Whoa. The fuck? Oh god. Ooh. Yeah, Kiki. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Bye bye, bitch. Oh god. You're never too old to play with dolls. <laughs> Until you're dead. Dolls. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, this is so weird. That's kind of like a cool, cool trailer, actually. <sighs> dolls. You're not too, you're never too old to play with dolls. Until you're dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I explained where he got the idea for Puppet Masters from this film that Charles Brand produced. Except this one, the, uh, this, I, actually, when I first, this film got me interested in watching. It was a, during a Watch Mojo rank of the top 10 most evil dolls. And this was around number 10 around here. Explain this film. That... <laughs> The dolls punish people, those who are are rotten, bad, that will betray the the joy of childhood, you know, the inner child, like playing with toys, you know, that. Those who are all grown up. 
And out of all of them, only two survive. The daughter and the guy he, she was talking to, who was a mailman, who was a child at heart. And recall, this guy in this canceled sequel married her actual mother. The one you see is her stepmother, who's a total bitch. And Chloe's dad, who's a total dick. Who end up becoming dolls. And the ending, well, technically, he didn't, he didn't get a look. Oh, no, he becomes Punch after he destroyed the original Punch. And I don't know how he became Punch. And you see the two old couple. They watch as he turned to become Punch. I don't know how. That's scary as shit, but still. Unlike Pop Master, you see these guys, they're zombies in under that porcelain mask. And you see it. Those dolls ain't playing. You saw those toy soldiers, they were firing live rounds at that woman. Jesus. Fuck. But I think that ending right there, I think more iconic is the poster. If you see the poster, it's her with a skeleton nose and I and sockets while she's holding her porcelain eyes. Which, yeah. And there's another one of the little girl opening the door with the doll with an evil grin. With a knife right there holding her arm. But yeah. This film's actually quite good. i seen it. i never seen the trailer though. And I didn't know the name Charles Band. Because him with his work with Puppet Master. Which i seen that first before i seen this movie. So Yeah. <laughs> And here's a funny thing. I seen Puppet Master World on YouTube before, you know, the copyright shit. And you know which one. I was watching Puppet Master World in, I think, middle school or high school on YouTube. Well, they had divided in parts, like part one, part two. And I you got the first film and divided in parts. Yeah, back then, before everything was copyrighted, everything, you know, that. Shit. I've never seen all of them in YouTube. That was quite interesting, including the old horror films like from Phantom of the Opera. I'm talking about the 1943, the 1963, calling the old classic horror movies. Before YouTube got strict on the copyright BS. Uh. This was around 2013, 2012. Yeah, right there. But yeah, let's go back to Dolls. I like the the type the uh, the the logo here. It just say dolls. Bold New Times New Roman right there. It's just like bold in red. You know what movies are about dolls. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. And this film gave a cult following back then. It was released on by MGM Home Entertainment back in 2005, well, DVD actually, and then in screen by Screen Factory on Blu-ray under license of MGM back in 2014. Which I own the Blu-ray. I've seen the documentary; it was actually pretty cool. As for the reception, it received a 60% on Rotten Tomatoes and by 15 critics. Robert Ebert review of the first. Bill was mostly negative, commenting that dolls lacked the energy and unapologetic excess of Stu Gordon's two previous films. He also opened that dolls was intrinsically not frightening due to the cute appearance writing. The haunted house looks magnificent, but so what? If it's not haunted, but great and frightening creatures? At some point, dolls remain only an idea. A concept. He doesn't became an, an, an engine to shock and involve us. He gave it a two out of four stars. <laughs> and and it cool news review the DVD calling it a movie that really stands above the type of film you might expect from this era, with a subject matter. Hornews.net Jeff Colbank listed the toy making couple as one of the thirteen best horror movie couples. Stated that Rolf was the creepiest toy maker of all, them all. Which well, I would agree. He's like the grandpa toy maker. Like he's like the Geppetto in horror films. Like, ah, uh, I make the most best toys until you realize they murder you. Quite interesting. 
So I can say you can go in. All movie reviews, the mildly favorable, calling it a serious minded, lovingly crafted modern fairy tale that only misses classic status by a few clumsy, low budget moments. Yeah. Mm. But over the years, the game called Following and became well beloved to now. But yeah, folks, let me know what you think of dolls. Do you own the movie, the DVD, or the Blu-ray released by Screen Factory? If so, comment down below what's your favorite scene. Did this film give you a different mind point of view on the sacred will of childhood? Even those who are all grown up still have the heart of a child in all of us. If so, comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe. Hit the bell so you won't miss any of our great content. Like this video. And remember our goal to hit 1 million subscribers or at least 500k. Because it's already been 11 years so let's do this or I'm going to turn you into dolls. But until then have a great day everybody and peace. And have a nice summer. Because some of us here who are taking masters. <laughs> we don't have vacation. Mwah. Eh screw it. More education for us. <laughs> okay peace out. Ciao.